Good morning children. Today we shall learn about the transfer of heat by the processes conduction and convection. If we heat one end of the metal rod holding the other end of the rod then soon the end you are holding would be hot as the heat travels through the metal. But there is very vast space between the sun and the earth. No medium is there for heat to travel. Then how does the sun heat reach the earth? This means the heat can travel in different ways. Exactly how the heat travels through the metal so well? We know in the solids molecules are tightly packed. Molecules can't move around freely but they can vibrate. The molecules at the end of the rod receiving heat from the flame start vibrating faster with more displacement because of received heat energy. These molecules collide with the neighboring molecules and transfer the heat energy and then these neighboring molecules also start vibrating faster. Then these neighboring molecules transfer the energy to the further molecules. Thus energy is transferred through the solids from molecule to molecule. The molecules remain at their position only. This process of heat transfer is called conduction. Now you may be wondering how does the heat travel in liquids? As we know the molecules are not so tightly packed in the liquids and in gases too. Then how does the heat transfer from one part to another part of the liquid? Let's learn through an experiment. Put some colorful potassium permanganate crystals in a flask and then pour little water gently without disturbing the crystal. Now we heat the flask. Little colored water from the bottom would rise up to the top. Then the colored water from the top would come down. You would notice a cycle in the flask. Colored water from the base rising up and then water from the top coming down until the crystal gets dissolved completely in the water. You know in the liquid and in gases the molecules changes its position to carry heat to the cooler part. Like the molecules from the bottom of the flask take heat. The hot water is lighter so it rises up and the heavier cold water comes down to take its place. Then at the base of the flask that water becomes hot and rises and the cold water from the top again comes down. Thus the heat transfers through the movement of the liquid. This process of heat transfer is called convection. You know the principle of convection of heat is used in our daily lives too. Have you ever wondered why the room heater is kept on the ground and the air conditioner is mounted up on the wall? The air conditioner cools down the air. The cold heavy air comes down and the lighter hot air from the ground rises up. If the air conditioner were to be kept on the ground the cold heavy air wouldn't rise and the hotter lighter air from the ceiling wouldn't come down. So the convection won't occur and the place won't get cooled easily. And this is the same reason why the ice boy went up and cooled down the air near the ceiling. The cold heavy air came down and the hot air near the ground rose. Thus. Due to convection, the whole room became cooler very quickly. On the other hand, the electric heater on the ground heats up the air and the air becomes lighter and hence rises up. The colder and heavier air from up comes down to receive the heat from the heater. Thus, the whole room gets warmer quickly due to convection. And that's why the heat boy stayed at the ground itself. 
the hot air rose and the cooler air near the ceiling came down and due to convection the room became warmer quickly you know convection also occurs in the nature which causes wind convection plays a major role in maintaining a moderate temperature near the sea the river etc during day time the land becomes hot faster so the air above the land becomes heated and rises up the colder air above the sea rushes towards the land to take that place thus sea breeze blows during day time and what happens during the night time at night the land cools down faster than the sea so the air above the sea remains warmer than the air above the land the warmer air above the sea rises up and the colder air from the land rushes to take that place thus land breeze blows during the night time so let's revise how the heat flows through the matter heat flows through the solid by conduction process during conduction the heat energy is transferred through the solid from molecule to molecule but the molecules remain at their position only and the heat flows through the liquid and gases by the convection process during convection the molecule changes its position like when we heat water on the stove the hot water from the bottom becomes light and rises up the cold water comes down to receive heat thus molecules change places to transfer heat that's all for now bye bye children